Nikola Tesla invented the AC power system we still use today. Around 1900, he envisioned the wireless transmission of energy so that everybody could get energy for free. His vision didn't come true, and today Tesla is almost forgotten. The research begins at Nikola Tesla Corner in New York City. Tesla? 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 Oh, Nikola Tesla. He was from Moscow. The Tesla rod. Wasn't he the pre president? He's the man who invented static electricity. There was no static electricity before Tesla. <laughs> Am I right? What he did not invent. What he didn't invent. He was the greatest inventor ever. He invented electricity, practically. One of my heroes. There's that huge sculpture he made. He's going to make them. He's going to transmit power around the world. He was thousands of years, literally, before his time. Oh shit! Oh. Holy shit, Captain! Oh! I don't know if you know it. We're actually standing at the corner of Which Nikola corner? Tesla right here. It's on the corner of West 40th and Sixth Avenue in New York. If you could simply turn off all of Tesla's contribution, modern civilization would come to a grinding halt. We will be thrown back literally a hundred years into the past, back into the days of steam engines and, and steam locomotives. That's the contribution that Tesla made. In some sense, he's the architect. In some sense, Tesla is the architect of modern day civilization. I've been through that obviously many, many years and the different Tesla requests I've gotten, you know, again, nothing, nothing. And I've had people come in like yourself, you know, because nobody can believe that there's nothing on someone as famous as Tesla. It's like saying you have nothing on Edison or Einstein. You know, I mean, for some reason, it looks almost as if he was blackballed. Who knows? Yeah. Um, your no. wife's on line one. Oh. Okay. My wife's calling. No, I really have to go. <laughs> yeah, okay. My wife Don't is calling. Don't get in trouble with your wife. Yeah. Nothing there on Tesla? Why? What's the background? The scandal behind Tesla is that he was, I think, cheated of much of his well-deserved fame and also patents. He was in on the discovery of radio. He was experimenting with x-rays before the announcement of the discovery of x-rays. He pioneered the AC motor. You realize that everything you see around us, the lights in this room, the lights of New York City, are all energized by AC motors and AC power. So in other words, Tesla laid the foundation of a second industrial revolution. 100 years ago, he already predicted the oil crisis by saying, if we use fuel to get our power, we are living on our capital and exhausting it rapidly. This method is barbarous and wantonly wasteful and will have to be stopped in the interest of coming generations. So that's a prophetic statement from around 1895, 1900, I'm sorry, 1900. Yep. Well, Tesla lived here for 10 years, uh, 1933 to 1943, when he passed away. He lived in room 3327 and 3328. One was kind of his uh, office, the other is he slept here. Uh, I have stories and stuff of he uh, had pigeons in his windows here, you may have heard. I have some articles I can give you. And. Um, Apparently he frightened the housekeepers a bit with his uh, electronic uh, experiments and such. We like to say Nikola Tesla, as is, is the, is the, is the uh, commemorative plaque said, that Nikola Tesla, whose discoveries in the field of the alternative current electricity advanced the United States and the rest of the world into the modern industrial era. And I don't know any scientists of the world who deserve more credit than Nikola Tesla. So that part is sure of. The other thing about Tesla, the death rays and the uh, anti-gravity or the zero point energy or all these other things, um, I don't know. You know, I've never seen the, the, the funny thing is those seem to be rather undocumented. The interesting thing is quite a bit of those documents may have been in this building and they may have been removed from this building 
by the FBI or CIA or whatever it was called at the time. And they may be locked up um, in some big warehouse next to the Ark of the Covenant from the Indiana Jones movie, you know. And it's a warehouse where they keep all the secrets, you know. King Peter II of Yugoslavia in his room here at the New Yorker Hotel. Which is pretty cool that the King of Yugoslavia, you know. When Henry Ford died, something like there was a a big pause and all the cars came to halt and when Tesla died it was just completely unknown. In 1901 Tesla built the Wardenclyffe Tower in Shoreham, Long Island. Financed by J.P. Morgan, the most influential banker of all times, the huge construction of timber, copper and steel was designed for the wireless transmission of energy. The tower was never finished as J.P. Morgan refused to continue funding. The original footings are still there. They're made out of a different type of concrete. You see it up here, here. So these are the cornerstones of it. So they thought that's the original. What happened, we wound up with 375 four inch holes going down 100 feet, which are now filled with concrete. So it's like concrete, four inch, tubes all the way down, 375 of them. So now it can't ever move again. That's it, it. It's over. I think we reconstructed it better than the Tesla did. Nikola Tesla died in 1943, already a superhero in his native country and to all Serbs. His cousin Sava Kosanovic, ambassador to the U.S., had Tesla's belongings shipped to Belgrade to establish the Tesla Museum there. If you want to, to find anything what is real, original, you can find it here. In every photograph you can find a lot of very important details made by Tesla himself. It means that he was also the first museologist, a very important one for us today, and also the first who made these mystical things about himself. The genius who lived the world, who actually was out of time or in front of his time. Everybody is right saying that. Tesla is and was and is and will be the unique man in the whole history of the bank.